hours. Yeah. You All right, gang, can I have your attention so that we can go through, see how and when we need to use the Nernst equation? So a problem like this, they weren't even nice enough to give you a, a chemical equation. They give you the line notation. But uh, we know the line notation well enough, we should be able to interpret this and write a chemical equation from it. Remember, the line notation is not the same thing as a chemical equation. Don't think that the two reactants are zinc and zinc plus two, because they come first. They're not. What are the two reactants in this reaction? Yes, uh, because remember, this double line separates the anode from the cathode. And within each compartment, you're given the reactants and the products. So zinc is a reactant, zinc plus two is a product. Copper is a reactant, then copper, uh, sorry, Copper plus two is a reactant, and then copper metal is a product. So yeah, in this reaction, we have something being oxidized, that's over here, something being reduced, that's over here, and we'll have to put those two together. So the overall reaction is like this, Zn plus Cu plus two yields uh, Zn plus two, and then copper. They're kind of sketchy in the amount of information that they give in this problem because it doesn't say, well, I guess it does say what the initial concentrations were. Initially, this thing was at standard conditions because zinc and copper on the outside, those are just the electrodes. Uh, they're solid, so they don't have a concentration. But our two things that do have a concentration are one, polarity. So, it's a different color. This is one molarity, and this is one molarity. The question says, the zinc ion has changed by 0.2 molarity. It doesn't tell us, though, whether the zinc ion concentration went up or down. How are you expected to know that? Can you tell what it did? What did you say? Uh-huh. Somebody's whispering and I can't tell who. This is John. John's got his head down. <laughs> Look at this arrow. See that arrow? What does it tell you? The reaction's going that way. So what does the zinc ion concentration do? It goes up. The reaction, uh, the copper gets used up, it goes down. The zinc gets made, it goes up. Yeah? There's no two ways on this reaction, it's just one way. Like that. So, um, if the zinc changes by 0.2, we know what the final concentration is. It's 1.2, because we know that it had to go up. And then the copper ion concentration, if the zinc went up, the copper had to go down. You would expect that. So now you have the concentrations of the reactants and products. We know how many electrons were transferred in this reaction, do we? How many electrons were transferred? Two, yeah. The zinc uh, lost two electrons, the copper gained two electrons, and it's two. So you can do the Nernst equation now. I'm going to invite you, take a moment, grab that reduction potential table that you have. Use the Nernst equation and determine the cell potential. I want to make sure that you can get the standard cell potential correct. Be careful.
Yeah, that's why I wanted you to do this one. If you made a mistake, I want you to see it. Can you, gang, can you come up with the cell potential when it's standard as 1.1 volts? Now, the reason I want you to do this, there are, I think, three half reactions that have copper in them. And you need to make sure you use the right one. That's the, the most common mistake uh, with this problem is looking up the wrong reduction of copper. It's copper plus two yields copper neutral. Now I know one of the lines has copper plus two yields copper plus one. Be careful, that's not right. Was that Anna? Are you okay, Anna? Okay, okay. All right, so anyway, this is the Nernst equation and we're going to just plug everything we know into it and this should be enough to get us what this term is, we're trying to find the cell potential uh, for this reaction after it has occurred, and it has occurred for a while. So the standard cell potential was 1.10. That's what it was initially. You can see up here, we were at standard conditions at the beginning. So it was kicking off with a voltage of uh, 1.10. But now that it is about 20% done, that's how I got the 20% done, because it, it changed by 0.2 out of 1. So now what is the voltage? 0.0591 over n, which is 2, times the log of Q, which is products over reactants. 1.20 over 0 0.8, like that. You remember Q, we find it the same way as we find K. But Q changes constantly in a reaction because the concentrations of everything are changing. Where K is just that equilibrium ratio. When you crank this out, what do you get? It's actually a little bit of a bummer um, because when it was at the beginning, it had a voltage of 1.10, and now that it's 20% done, what is the voltage? Yeah, it went down by a whopping 1 one hundredth of a volt to 1.09. Oh, does it even round to 1.1? Yeah, but to the stop. <laughs> no, I'm not fighting. Not you. Yeah, okay. I'll fight for me. Okay, now anybody have any questions about this? I'm gonna ask you to try the next one. And the next one, if you didn't think this one gave you very much information, just wait to the next one. You have enough in the problem to be able to solve it, but man, it sure would be nice if they just gave you the chemical equation instead of making you figure it out. So see what you think of this. Talk to each other about this one. Come up with the chemical equation together. That's the worst part of this is what the chemical equation is. I do want to at least tell you this. I'm, I'm encouraging you to do this on your own, but this is so different. The, word, the three words, copper, metal, electrode. What do you mean by that? What they mean is you've got a, a copper compartment, uh, and by far the most common form of copper is Cu plus 2. So what they're saying here, 
this is the copper electrode. It's copper ions changing and reducing into copper metal. Now the standard hydrogen electrode, I'm just going to leave you on your own with. Because there's only one... I, I, you just figure that out. Do you have a guess as to what a standard hydrogen electrode means? A platinum, uh, yeah, platinum bar in the, uh, the half reaction, hydrogen ions changing to hydrogen gas. That's a standard hydrogen electrode. This reaction. That's the standard hydrogen electrode. has to be turned around to be an oxidation. <laughs> 